the science engineering challenge is in, in designed to inspire students to study STEM subjects, science, maths, engineering at high school, and then later on in the tertiary education. So Australia desperately needs people with technical skills, and clearly the job market in the future will all involve technology in one aspect or another. So to understand this sort of technology is important for all students. It's so good. I think that the science and engineering challenge is something different and it's special because the students are able to get really hands-on. They explore these scenarios and challenges and they really work together to figure out the solution. It's something that's different. You can't necessarily do this every day in the classroom with all these resources. I think that's really valuable that they are in control and they're hands-on with STEM activities. So when I was in year nine and year 10, I had the opportunity to um, come and do the bridge building and um, yeah, found it really interesting and uh, very hands-on to do. Um, it just makes you think laterally, so um, a lot of a lot of subjects at school you don't get to do a lot of hands-on and a lot of self-thinking. So here the fact that you're given just a brief and then you've got to take that brief and then come up with a physical solution, um, obviously, yeah, it's, it's quite good. It's interesting to be on the other side of the fence and watch the way that the kids are actually thinking through things and um, coming up with solutions to the problems and they're all coming up with solutions in their own different way, so it's really good. Both right? chemical engineers. Yep. We actually went to uni we went together. To uni together. <laughs> yeah. Same year, yeah. Yeah, it was pretty exciting. I yeah, enjoyed the activity myself. Yeah, so. it was really cool to see how they are uh, problem solved and to see how they got their answers because obviously we had to go before yeah. before and came up with our own answers. So it was cool to see like you know where they scaled. Um, and yeah, it was just really really good. They did really well. So it was I work in a very male dominated industry. I think there's only one other, or there's now two other female in my offices out of about 16 of us. So um, yeah, it's it's really um, good to see them out there. And yeah, so good to see so many young women getting into it. Um, definitely, it was even rare when I was in school. Was I was still just a, yeah, one in 20 kind of number. <laughs> and even through uni a little bit as well. So yeah, yeah it's good to see. I mean, it's definitely improving, and I think this is the the first step. Really, is getting girls out there and knowing that there actually is jobs and yeah. interesting science yeah. and math yeah. stuff. And these are young people from our southwest, and we know there's so many opportunities ahead. And some of these young people here today will be solving a lot of the issues and problems that we have not just now but in the future and this could well be where it starts. Well it's, it's really important from the point of view of we're facing the biggest challenges over the next 10 to 15 years in science and technology and how we respond to things like climate change and these sort of events really get the generation that's going to be really dealing with that thinking creatively about science problem solving as a team and really having to think through collectively how they might address a particular technological problem. Especially when you consider that we have Albemarle starting up as well. That's just one of the industries of the future. Everything from uh, lithium to lithium battery manufacturing perhaps in time and maybe then also lithium battery uh, recycling. And that's just one. And I think all of our precious um, metals that we have in Western Australia means that there's, there's going to be ongoing new opportunities in the STEM, the science, technology, engineering and math space for our young people. It's like winning the Olympics uh, as far as we're concerned. Uh, to have the champion schools from all around the country come to Bunbury. Opportunity for us to showcase the whole of the Bunbury region, what we have to offer, the technology that goes on in this area. Um, again, and with fabulous support from our local industry as well. It'll be so great. At the end of October, we'll have schools from all around Australia coming into Bunbury for the national final. It'll be so exciting, I think, to travel across the country and, of course, for our schools in WA, a good trip down the road. Um, it'll be so great and the competition will be outstanding. The first time in Western Australia and it's going to be in Bunbury. 
So I think not only will that showcase our area, but also I'm hoping it's going to stimulate more young people in this region to think about what career options there are, not just here, but in Western Australia, around the world, for them in their futures. And often you say to young people, what problem is it that you want to solve? And I tell you what, they're really good at finding the answers and I want to encourage more young people to do exactly that. It is, and that's going to put a spotlight on Bunbury, put a spotlight on young people and science and technology. And I'm really um, grateful to Rotary for the huge contribution it's making in leading up to the Nationals, but also in hosting these um, uh, exercises over the last few years. It's been terrific as I've come down and each pool of kids that I've seen has been as enthusiastic as the last. All our event staff and volunteers who come are always so surprised at what an impact it has on the students. And we have um, people that have come back who are now in science and engineering fields who actually tell us they remember this day so fondly and it did have an impact on the subjects they chose in year 11 and 12 and eventually that had an impact on their future career. So it's a really valuable experience. Oh, it's a huge opportunity. Publicity would be enormous surrounding this event. It's an ideal opportunity to get your name out, demonstrate that you're a good public citizen for any corporation, any company, mining or otherwise, that has any technological base in it, a tremendous opportunity.